Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're talking about something disgusting. All right. Uh, something viral, something disturbing. There's a person that's been popping up for a while now and their entire brand is just being gross. Have you ever seen a compilation of room cleaning and hygiene videos that a creator has made and is famous for because they are just nasty? Not yet. Well, this is going to be really disturbing for you guys. Though, by the way, this is a second channel video, so because I didn't think it was good enough to put on the main channel, but anyways. <laughs> Dive right into this epic content video. Oh! I'm just gonna email saying I'm gay. That's rude. That's rude as fuck. Look at this. It's so nasty. Cleaning my room as a Roblox streamer. What? As a what First, streamer? I started with the bed Roblox? Stand. This is where I have all my waters for my daily hydration. As you can see, it's cleaned up. I'm getting the floor clean now. Still got a long way Dude, to go. Dude, look at that. That is amazing. That is incredible. He's got just full bags of Takis and just uh, probably has never made food in his entire life. Oh, by the way, I'm not trashing this guy. This is very clearly satire. This is very clearly what he does to get his his brand, his name out there. This feller is a genius. He's a Wilbox streamer. This Wilbox streamer has a dirty secret. And it's that he's gross. I like the cleanup though. I like the cleanup. And check this out. Roaches, guys. Pesty roaches that were trying to eat my leftover dinner. That's so mean. But I got my pizza back. Pow Envy is like the Asmongold of TikTok or YouTube, I guess. I, I, even though Asmongold is on all those platforms as well. Asmongold has a disgusting room. I never Hello, understood everyone. this. Um, I've heard a lot of people saying that this I is uh, by the way, 13 years exaggerate ago. things. I, you know, make things more than what they are that is so disgusting and that's true but not in terms of my room a lot of people think that uh it's actually not as bad as it is and i'm probably gonna clean it today but i don't want i don't want to lose the memory that is so disgusting do you guys clean do you clean men don't clean generally men are dirty right that's most of the young men that are my age or younger i've met are dirty or a little even older right they're dirty and you gotta get a girlfriend and then you get a girlfriend then the girlfriend cleans that's what happens I don't even know how to do my laundry. All right, guys, I'm not that dirty. I'm a little bit messy. My sh my shit's a little my shit's a little messy. I'm gonna be honest. Let's see if this camera. I'll show you guys. I mean, I'm no pal Indy for sure, but like, I mean, this isn't this isn't terrible. This isn't horrible. You know, I've got I just ate some food. It's not bad. Fine. Got my sister Fister over there. It's not bad. It's not bad. There's some stuff. There's a computer. <laughs> My cock's out. It's not bad. It's not horrible. Seems like it's a running theme, though. Young men are really dirty. Really, really dirty. <clears throat> Pal Envy is basically just Asmund Gold from 13 years ago. Or maybe even last year. Check this shit out. Yeah, I also, I also need to do the room cleaning stream. If you guys, if you guys want to see what my room actually looks like, I'm going to show you. Give me a second. So this is what my room actually looks like. Oh my god, look at his hair, too. Please just shower, bro. It ain't that hard. Okay. As you guys can see, um, I, I have a lot of uh, of stuff I need to get rid of. A lot. That's of not that bad. Bullshit over here. These are just plates with food. Okay, that's um, pretty bad. Let's see. Ah, uh, that's about it. And, and like. I love his build to his body. He just looks like he just he has got like a degen build. It, like it's a thing now. People start to look like degens. They just have like this look. The hair, everything about it. I love it, man. I love it. These are my people. This is where I come from. And XQC, he's got a same, the same type of thing going on, except he has all of his shit in a pile in the corner. That is so disgusting. We make fun of people that tell us to clean our rooms, and then we idolize these people. What the fuck? is going on right now. Back to Pow Envy. Pow Envy is basically like those two fellas, but for a much smaller audience of Roblox enthusiasts. And Pow Envy's not embarrassed by this at all. XQC is very embarrassed, and Asmongold, I don't think, gives a fuck about anything. Uh, Pow Envy is not embarrassed at all. Pow Envy is Oscar the Grouch. I mean, check out this line, guys. Check out this line. My crunchy socks have been like protein for the roaches, I think, but I'm gonna clean those up eventually. Underneath my bed could crunchy socks, dude. Your cum, your cum socks. Is that what you mean? Your your socks that are filled with protein for the roaches. That's awesome. That's awesome. I love this so much. I can't believe this is a real thing. I'm a huge Pow Envy fan. Definitely get cleaned up too. And the I have these dark stains on my wall. I think feet. it's for my feet. Does anybody know how to get those off? Oh. <laughs> 
get my neck get those off dude clean it up man just clean it up you know i'd say burn the house down at this point burn the house down there's there's a certain time and place for cleaning and i think that this might be might be a little too far when the walls you got you got crunchy socks attached to the floor roach infestations i don't mind roaches by the way street shrimp I don't mind street shrimp. Bugs, I'm not a big bug hater. In fact, the other day there was a large spider with a ass full of babies that was on my bed in front of my face when I woke up and I like woke up and saw it. It was right in front of me and I pushed it and all the babies came piling off and then I just fell asleep because I thought I was dreaming. But it turns out I wasn't and there was a bunch of baby spiders in my bed for a couple days. I didn't really care though. They're not like poisonous. I don't fucking care, you know. If they want to feast on me, they're allowed to. I don't care. I'd feast on them. If I wanted to. Out of all of Pow Envy's videos, there's a few specific areas of disgust that are a little bit grosser than the others. I like his chair. His like chair looks like he's been right, ripping been ass in into it for 15 Get years. Some of these bowls down. That's that is crazy. <laughs> July 4th. All right, we clean up this. How does it even look like that? What did you do to that chair? How did you? I've seen trucks that are 40 years old that have that, that have been taken better care of, and they're still faux leather. I don't understand this. I like the little click too. That was good. That was good. Very uh, appreciated edit there, buddy. That was awesome. But since this video, he's replaced it. And yeah, guys, my chair is dirty, but don't worry, I don't use it anymore. I have Got a this new chair. One. My That's good. That one looks like it will last much longer. If you're not interested in this sort of toe curling, bottomless filth, then maybe you're interested in what Pow Envy has recently done to get rid of this, to, to, to solve the problem that he's that he faces himself with. How about inviting a viewer over to his house to help him clean the mess? W. Then my viewer arrived. Hello, Brendan. He is a viewer of my live streams, so I invited him to come clean my house for me. Isn't that sweet? That's pretty sweet. He was very surprised when he held the rats, and the first thing they did was poop on him. I would show it, but last time TikTok perma banned me, and I don't want that again. Anyway, stay tuned. So, yeah, that's pretty awesome. He also has pet rats, and to be honest, his rat cage, very well maintained. Very well maintained. I like that. He closes out the video with his viewer by uh, saying, join me tomorrow where we ride horses and shoot guns like red-blooded Americans. This guy's awesome. I need to have him come over to my house and make a stinky mess. You know, recently I've been playing a lot of Valorant. And one thing about Valorant but this is, a bit is of that a it's all about red shooting. Flag. You know what that made me realize? Wait, I'm probably really good at shooting in real life too. So I went to the gun range, you know, supervised. And I put my hearing protection on and I shot a Glock 44. This is a 22 caliber round. This is a really big bullet. It felt like a horse kicking me in the stomach every time I shot it. My friends were like, yo, Let's step up to 556 five, NATO, something that the military uses. However, I'm not in the military. I did not want to shoot this. I couldn't even pick up the gun. The gun was like 25 pounds. I don't know how people carry that. I don't even know how you could walk with that. How do Call of Duty people sprint? I've got so many questions lately you wouldn't even believe. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. We're, it's a new breed of people. And I, by the way, I'm not making fun. I just wanted to show you guys. This is awesome. This is so perfect. And like I said, it's very clearly satire. It has to be. It fucking has to be. I mean, it just has to be satire. This guy's awesome. This guy's like idyllic. He is so, such a perfect example of what people are becoming. Now, some of it does seem like a joke, but the dirty stuff doesn't seem like he's actually a giant filthy slob. There's a video five months ago of someone exposing him for being disgusting. He says he has to come clean that he's a filthy, disgusting animal. Ducks have to be here, but I have to come clean. I've been exposed. I have been proven in the public eye to be an absolute filth machine. Recently, it came to my attention that a YouTuber made a video showcasing my filth. I gotta say, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit disappointed. I think he brought up points that just aren't true. He made allegations about me. He didn't understand the full scope of the situation. I found out while I was live streaming the other day, and today we're gonna be going over it together. But yeah, it's it's clearly a joke. It's just he's a great sport about this. It's so disgusting. Recreational filth. I love it, man. That's fucking great. He also claims there's a path to his chair through the trash. What the fuck? I need to step it up. I need to make more of a mess. I need to surround myself with more filth. There was a path to my chair. Okay, this bag, this bag was kind of blocking it. That's when I realized I had to clean my room was when my trash path so I get to my chair safely was getting a little disturbed. That's so fucking funny, man. The guy's so fucking funny. Is this satire? No, it's not satire. It's real. It's legit. Is his reaction to it and him like playing it up and being a jokester and saying, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. The, the roach stuff, the, the crusty sock stuff. I'm sure it's filthy. This guy's just funny as fuck and he's awesome. 
so many people have been tagging me in his videos being like, you should roast him. You should make fun of him. I mean, yeah, sure. I don't think so. He's actually awesome. Seems like a really cool dude. People even ask me if it's satire. Check this out. People ask if I'm satire. I love I'm to give you the answers. But first, we have to talk about what satire means. Satire is when something is done intentionally. Deliberate, yeah. To cause people to laugh. Now, did I intentionally cause my room to be dirty for laughs? No. Did I intentionally clean it for laughs? No. It's clearly satire. Dude's a fucking genius. This is awesome. I love this so much. We need more people like this. We need more content creators that are disgusting. Dude is making jokes about an unfortunate reality and it is incredible. I love it, guys. Is it all right to do this? Of course. It's fine to be a little messy. If you got kids, it's not good. If you're a young person, who the fuck cares? You know, if you got, if you lack some discipline, well, you got plenty of time. You got plenty of time. It doesn't really change much. It doesn't really change much. Oh, it doesn't change much. Oh, but at the same time, it's so nasty. I love his diet, too. But when I have my favorite dinner, Right, when I'm cooking up some good salty food to make me feel really good, then I also have a Pop-Tart, that's a lot of food. But I gotta be healthy still. So that's why I have Dr. Truth Seamoss to help me. You put this bad boy in a blender, don't forget to add the water like I just did. Then you grab a tablespoon, drink that, that's good for you. Then you put it on your skin and it's good for your skin. Thanks, doctor. What the fuck is fucking just randomly thrown in some sea moss? I think the sea moss is probably outweighed by the Takis, to be fair. Kind of reminds me of El Faba, who would disregard their health because of their mental health and wouldn't shower and be disgusting. This fella's not even remotely on the same level. Obviously. It's a completely different thing. It's funny. It's tongue-in-cheek. It's facetious. And it's awesome. And I think it's also disturbing. Guys, I think it's also fucking disturbing. Let me know what you think down below. Is your room a fucking disgusting pigsty? Because mine sometimes is. Sometimes. Not always. Rarely.